Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl JoJo, and it is Friday, and I'm here for another video for March Madness. Yay! All right, so the video I'm doing today will be titled Freestyle Friday, and Freestyle Friday will be whatever video I feel like doing or whatever video somebody may have suggested that I do, and I will whip out a Freestyle Friday, but so far, ain't nobody suggested nothing, so <laughs> I went ahead and came up with what I wanted to do, and I'm going to be talking about the crossover episode for the new Married to Medicine. They did a crossover episode with Atlanta and LA, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, Married to Medicine is actually one of my favorite shows, my favorite reality shows, especially a reality show with black women on it. Um, I actually like it more than Real Housewives of Atlanta. I really, really enjoyed that show. And I think the men being on the show gives it a really good balance. So I enjoy Married to Medicine. Um, I think I'm going to enjoy the Married to Medicine LA cast as well. However, I don't know if this is a show that I'm going to continuously review. I haven't really decided yet. I've been giving it some thought, but I know that um, for, for new people, when I, when I started doing my reviews, I focused on shows that were either in their first season or shows that a lot of YouTubers that I watched did not review because then there was a separate market. And I know it's a bunch of people doing reviews, so it's not like I'm ever going to be reviewing anything that nobody else is reviewing. But I just like to kind of create a different market for myself, if that makes sense. And I know that everybody and their mama are reviewing Married to Medicine LA. I mean, everybody has said it on their channels, and um, I know Forrest Rocks is even going to do it, and she normally doesn't do Married to Medicine LA. So I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. I haven't really decided, but if I do, y'all will see it up, and if I don't, then... I just don't. <laughs> but I might talk about it every now and then. Um, oh, yes. My shirt says introvert. It's probably backwards for those of y'all who are seeing it. But, yes, I am very much one, if you can't tell. But, anyway, we will get into talking about the crossover episode, and we will talk about my thoughts. So, let me go to my notes here. Oh, and, y'all, I'm starting to think, like, if I ain't know no better, I know better. But if I didn't know no better... I would think somebody was out here trying to put the roots on me because I go and I have the system. I'm at the grocery store <laughs> um, for my computer, right? I go put the CD that just goes to show you how old my computer is so I can upload the drivers and things that I need to get my iMovie back. And my CD drive does not work. I tried to clean it out. And eventually I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to do this. So now I'm going to have to buy some type of external drive so that I can load. It's just a whole lot. It's just, I ain't even get mad about it though. I was just like, you know what? Somebody don't want me to do these videos, but I'm going to do these videos and I'm going to edit these videos. So I'm going to get it done, y'all. Just another, no, just another setback, but we're going to be all right. Okay. Ain't nobody put roots on me. I sound like what you call it on Love and Hip Hop Miami. I just, if I didn't know any better, I would think Amara put roots on me. Like, Mom, I think she put... <laughs> she sounded so stupid. JoJo. Anyway. Okay, so, Married to Medicine, L.A. So, Contessa is having, like, a welcome back girlfriend type party because they haven't really talked to each other much since the reunion. And we all saw how that reunion went. And she's having a little something at her house. Now, did y'all notice who was not there? Mm. Now, I knew Mariah wasn't going to be there. And I really want to like Mariah, y'all. I mean, I think she's beautiful. I think she's funny. Oh, but Mariah, she just don't be doing right. She just don't be doing right. But she, like, she's likable at times for me. And then Toya wasn't there. I was really surprised by that. Because y'all remember... Toya is the one who introduced Contessa to the group. So even though they had their falling out, I really thought that they were going to be good again. So to not see Toya there, what does this mean for the show? Like, was she not invited back to Married to Medicine? Is she not coming back? Are her and Contessa really not going to be cool? Like, what y'all heard? I need to know. I ain't looked up nothing, but let me know if you heard anything. So Toya wasn't there, and I was really surprised. So they're having this welcome back party seeing what everybody's been up to we know that dr heavenly you know dr heavenly has been up to our same things and y'all know dr heavenly also has a youtube channel where she gives advice and stuff i think it's very interesting that 
now all of the reality show people are coming over to YouTube when some of the reality show people used to be the main ones who would talk about how folks always got their name in their mouth. Not Dr. Heavenly, but y'all over there talking about me on y'all little videos and whatnot and whatnot and y'all over there, but I'm on TV and now all of the people on TV are coming over to YouTube. Just found that interesting. So um, she's doing her thing or whatever. And then um, Simone, private practice, all of that's going well. Dr. Jackie, her practice is going well. They're giving some some type of shots to increase the sensitivity of the clitoris. Now, what what is, what is that called? <laughs> and how much do they cost? I, she had me interested. But they're doing all kind of stuff at her office. Quad is going through her divorce. And I'm going to be... I, I was really happy to see so many glimpses of the quad that I used to know, the quad we remember, the quad we used to love, because that quad on the last season of Married to Medicine, she was a lot to deal with. She was going through a lot, and I understand, but all of that, you know, I'm the the, the main person on the show, and I'm kind of like the star of the show, and um, she had kind of this you know, all of that sisterly, and all, I mean, I got her point, I did get her point, she wanted people to be there for her, but yeah, I just, that, it was draining to watch Quad last season at, at certain points, but she seems to be doing much better, Contessa suggests that they all go over to LA, you know, have some fun in the sun, and relax, go on a little vacation together, they need that, Quad says LA is one of her favorite places, so she's with it. Dr. Heavenly's with it. Dr. Simone is with it. Toya's nowhere to be found. And Dr. Jackie is not going to be able to go because Dr. Jackie got some other work and things to do. So she cannot be there. But you girls have fun. And have fun they are going to do. So we see everybody packing up, getting ready to go. Uh, quad and them dogs, you guys. What is what is that in their hair? Did she dye it that way? Or is it a clip in? <laughs> Them dogs walking around here with their hair more laid than mine. I just, I, ooh, all them animals all over the bed and all in the suitcase, y'all. And they, I don't know if they shed. Are they shed zoos? They might not shed like that, but anyway, you guys. So everybody is getting ready to go. They get to the airport and Contessa's friend, Dr. Britton, picks them up. So and let me give y'all Dr. Britton Cole. Okay, she is from the south side of Chicago. She is mixed. Her mother is black and her father is white. I don't think I was expecting that. And um, she decided early on in life that she had seen her mom work way, way too hard, two and three jobs sometimes. And she had decided for herself that she was never going to work that hard. And she was going to find and make a career choice where she didn't have to work that hard. And I wish Dr. Britton had been my homegirl back in the day and told me that. Okay, get you something. Get, learn a field so that you do not have to work as hard as your mother did I you know we here now so what can I do but she went into the field of anesthesiology which I believe is one of the top five highest paid when it comes to the uh, medical field if I'm not mistaken so she went into that field and um, she has done very well for herself now Dr. Britton is married I do believe she said she had kids but I did not get down how many if it was two or three but we'll see as the show goes on and she's picking them up from the air airport okay contestants are girl they met back in 94 uh went to college together we're in the military together so they could pay for college and um she's picking them up in her jeep wrangler and she took the doors off so quad and heavenly are looking around and i said listen now what i'm not here for and I got a lot of friends in Atlanta, and I hope people who've never been to Atlanta don't think that everybody in Atlanta acts the same, just like everybody in L.A. don't act the same. But um, all of that, you know, I thought a doctor would be pulling up in a Mercedes or this, that, and the third, because says Dr. Heavenly. I said, see, that's a black folk problem. We be worried about the wrong thing. Ain't nothing wrong with that Jeep Wrangler. If it's paid for and it's hers, and if that's what she wanted to do with her money, ain't nothing wrong with that. Everybody, just because you can get the Mercedes don't mean you got to, um, just because you can afford the Mercedes don't mean you got to get the Mercedes. You got to think about maintenance and all that. Maybe she ain't want no Mercedes. Maybe she liked the Wranglers. And L.A. kind of has that vibe where, you know, the Jeep life might be good for you. But, y'all, don't come, don't come out there with that snooty attitude now, that snooty ATL's finest. Don't nobody got time for that. 
So they get into the car and they go to the house. They like the house. Quad says something about there being a full bed instead of a queen. I said, mm -mm. like I say, we don't want it. We do not want that attitude here. And uh, Simone, let's just stop here real quick because I mean, this is going to be an unpopular opinion. I know a lot of people like Simone and so do I. I've liked Simone for a long time. So it pained me. It pained me. To have to watch Simone last season and a little bit of the season before that, but especially the reunion. Uh, I'm not really sure what has been going on with Simone the past couple years. I know she talks loud, so it can seem like she's yelling at people even if she's not. But she actually does yell at people too. And um, I, I just... I'm just not here for the, the the attitude that Simone can sometimes give off. Like, one minute she seems to be really cool, and then the next minute, you know, she seems to be overtly trying to tell you about yourself in a way where you just like, dang, I thought we were friends. I'm not, I mean, I don't know. But she's been difficult to watch for a while now, but I still really like Simone. So I'm hoping it's maybe just because of what her and Cecil were going through. And y'all, listen, for a while I was just like, Cecil, just leave. Just leave. Because what, what does she want? Anyway. Okay. So Simone tells Dr. Britton, girl, let me tell you something about black women in regards to them going out to the pool and all of that. I was just like, see, no. No, see, this is what I what we not gonna do. Now, luckily, Dr. Britton laughed it off. They laughed it off together. But I could tell by the way Dr. Britton turned around and said, "Well, not that I need to know, but what you got?" I could t I could tell by the way she said it that if she needs to be about it, Dr. Britton knows how to be about it. So I think I'm gonna like her. But yes, she's pale. She is probably taking on a lot of the phenotypes of her father. But that don't give you any right to try to school her about black women. See, if you took the time to get to know somebody, then you would have known she was half black. Maybe Contessa hadn't told them yet. But yeah, don't be telling me. I'm sure she's seen her share of, of uh, swim caps and shower caps and all the caps. She don't need you to school her on the black woman's hair. She probably know how to cornrow better than you. But they laugh it off, y'all. Okay. Then they get to talking about how pale she is and she could use some sun. Simone, let's not. Let's not. I'm for real. Don't come over here with that. Oh, side note, was y'all laughing when uh, Quad said that <laughs> if Heavily could wear Spanx up to her, uh, her neck, she probably <laughs> Oh, they told her to pull her titties out in them knee knockers. I was hollering. I'm so glad we getting some more of the old quad back. The divorce quad, the going through a divorce quad, she was she was wearing us out. But I understand. I understand. Okay. So, Britain would like for the rest of the ladies to meet some of her friends. They like Britain. They've been enjoying the house. They've been enjoying the L.A. way of life. They could get used to this. And I'm sure y'all could because Atlanta is some of the... I mean, when I tell you that damn... I mean, I live in Houston, so I understand. But when I tell you muggy, be so muggy during the summer, I'm sure y'all want to leave y'all city just like I be wanting to leave mine during the summer. But Houston's humidity is on a, a, a whole different level. So they're sitting out by the pool, and Dr. Britton wants to, you know, bring some of her friends around. So she brings her friend, oh, that's much better, Asia, Asia, Asha. Oh, I hate when I don't say people's name right. A-S-H-A. Asha. Well, child, Dr. Britton friend come, right? Real pretty. Uh, she comes out there, and she's just recently married. They've been married two years. They're about to have this anniversary party, and she thinks it would be great if they came to her anniversary party. But as she's sitting there, and she's introducing herself, her, her husband is a doctor, um, and they're talking about all the different things. We find out that she is an actress who paved her own way. She got tired of trying to find the jobs and getting the jobs with people and she decided that she was going to do her own thing and have her own production company. I, I don't know if I got it down, but was it Milk and Honey? Milk and Honey was the name of? Yes. The production company and she's got a show called, oh no, the show coming out is called Milk and Honey, but she produced it herself and wrote everything herself and she's got the show coming out that she's going to be in. So 
good for her. I mean, I love a trailblazer. I wish I had the gusto to do something like that. So, girl, do you. So, that's what she's going to do. And they're like, girl, Dr. Britton, we love your friends. I love hearing stuff like that. Um, then she starts talking to Dr. Simone and the rest of the ladies because they don't have any kids, her and her husband. And I believe she says she was 37 or 38. Yeah, 37 or 38, and they don't have any children. And so she's asking Simone, you know, based on your recommendation, I know you're a gynecologist. We don't have any um, obstetricians, gynecologists in our circle. Um, you know, what would be your recommendation? And she was like, uh, my recommendation would be for you to go home and have sex with your husband right now. <laughs> that would be my recommendation. Um, I mean, I didn't have a problem with, Simone telling her that I just you know I, I mean I don't I don't know I, it was good advice it was good solid advice it was something about the way that Simone was coming off with it though like she got to doing that a little bit of that yelling quad takes for granted that she's just gonna be have be able to have a baby forever and quad doesn't y'all the way she says quad always makes me laugh but Aisha says that she believes into speaking things into existence and I was just like girl you can believe in Speaking things into existence all you want, but the bi biology is the biology, okay? And it, if you want it to happen, then you probably need to be trying to make it happen. I do agree with Simone there. You're already married. It's not like you're looking for Mr. Right. You have Mr. Right, so it might be a good idea to go and see what y'all going to do. She brings up Janet Jackson having a baby at 50. Yeah, but you ain't Janet Jackson. And like Simone said, we don't know the hurdles that Janet Jackson had to go through. And that was also very true. I always think about that. You know, in regards to whether I want kids or don't want kids and, you know, just my body, if it's going to be able to do it, do I take, you know, take it for granted? I know y'all see the car seat. It's my niece's car seat. <laughs> so I, I have those thoughts most definitely, but I've already talked to my doctor about egg freezing before 35. So don't worry. Don't worry. I'm looking into things. But anyway, um, yeah, the time for freezing eggs is out. You just need to go ahead and start trying basically. So then we move off of that, and uh, Aisha wants to invite them to the party, so she sends outfits over for them to wear, baby, class act. Okay, I am loving L.A. too. If I ever have a party, I would love to be able to send people outfits to wear because I'm a control freak, and I want you to wear what I want you to wear. Don't be coming up in there if it's a white party. Don't be coming in there with black and white or beige. I said it was a white party, messing up my pictures, looking country. I would love to do something like that, but it wouldn't even be my nice side. It would be my controlling side, but don't nobody got to know. So she sends over the outfits and heavenly say she don't want to wear that one because she think that outfit is ugly. And I said, heavenly, now girl, you are nobody's fashionista. Okay. I've seen you looking like church on a couple of reunions. So don't be telling nobody what you do and what you don't want to wear, okay? You're going to wear what she brought over for you to wear, and you're going to like it. <laughs> but um, I wish this lady get in her car. She doing all this extra. Okay. Anyway, but yeah, uh, Heavenly say she don't like that outfit. She hope it's not for her. And uh, Simone says it's way too small for you anyway. But you know what? I like it. So Simone takes the outfit. And it looked like a Simone outfit, so it worked for her. I'm glad she actually got that one. And she didn't look bad in it. Once it you know, some stuff is ugly, and then when you put it on, it looked a little bit better. So it looked, it looked a little better once she put it on. But everybody had their head wraps, and everybody looked beautiful. They show up to the party. Um, I don't know which one of them said it, but somebody wanted to know why they was having a party, you know, after two years of marriage. Don't worry about it. Let people do what they gonna do let them celebrate how they gonna celebrate and uh while they were at the pool i forgot to mention this heavenly actually asked you know dr Britton, is it difficult being a, over here in la and your family is somewhere else i mean do you ever wonder about infidelity because i know some of the ladies have had a problem with that i said heavenly see this this when the when married to medicine first started i didn't like heavenly because I thought she was very rude and kind of nasty. But I came to realize just, I came to learn a little bit more about her. Like, she will do that with certain people. She may not do it with everybody. 
Uh, she's she's undercover shady. It's not always appropriate, but it came to be a little bit funny. So I did start to like Heavenly. I love her relationship with Daddy. I love the two of them. Um, but Heavenly can sometimes, you know, rub the nerves a little bit wrong. And then when I look at her, she's such a weird pretty. She's pretty, but it's like, it's like a, oh, she got a wide face like a pie. Like a pumpkin, but it's like it's happy looking, so I guess like a jack o' lantern. I don't know, but she's pretty to me, but but weird. It's really, really weird. Anyway, I'm off subject. So, um, Dr. Britton says she's not too much worried about the infidelity. You know, they, they communicate and they make it work, but they do have to figure out where the family is going to be but yeah that was a little that was a little salt in the game at those uh, who had been cheated on okay quad mm-hmm. simone is up in the air uh i don't think cecil cheated on her though and then you know curtis definitely but jackie wasn't there so okay back to the party so they've been married for two years they do have a pretty extravagant party it's african royalty is the theme everyone shows up everybody looks really really good um, they're mingling around the party, and this is where we meet Imani. Now, we met Imani earlier in the episode, but this is when the ladies met Imani. Imani is beautiful. She is striking. Her head is bald. It's a pretty bald. It's not all uneven. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, can y'all imagine? when the, Y'all know when the, a breeze hits you alls scalp? Imagine feeling like that all the time, except for in the winter. But she is just a tall glass of everything. Um, she's sassy. She's from New York. She's a New York girl. And New York girls have an attitude that only, only, like, fits them. Like, outside looking in, I would never want to have that attitude, but it worked for them. Like, it just, you be looking at them like, you really, you really kind of sassy. <laughs> but I like it. That's how I felt about Imani. She's a psychiatrist, which is my dream job. I would love to be a psychiatrist, but you guys, I, I thank you for all the encouragement you might try to give, but it's too late for medical school. I'm not going, I'm not going back to them science classes and the physics. I'm not doing it. No, thank you. But proud to see um, a sister out there doing it in L.A., psychiatrist, running the psychiatric ward where she is. Kudos to her. And I don't even know if I would, um, you know, I like, if, when I think about therapy, I like giving therapy to people to kind of guide them along a certain direction in life. With a psychiatry doctorate degree, you're going to be dealing with your schizophrenics, your your, your, your bipolars, your manic depression. I mean, it's going to be some serious diagnosis that you are going to like even she said it i deal with that crazy lady like right before you get on the bus those are my patients you are dealing with a a different level of um people and trying to teach them how to cope and medication and all of that so kudos to her i mean that's that's wonderful i love to see that um everybody looks good everybody's in good shape and i'm not saying that that's everything but y'all know down here in the south we like to eat so when we get on tv sometimes if the spanks ain't on us baby we got that weight (laughs) going i'm speaking for myself i would not want to be on tv right now either but um okay who else who else who else do they meet they meet jasmine they meet Jasmine, who is a doctor's wife. That's how she introduced herself. I'm a doctor's wife. And Heavenly said, and what else? And she said, oh, well, um, what does she say she do? She said that she had a foundation. She does. She has a foundation. And Heavenly said, okay, good. Then say that. Then we meet also Dr. Noel, who is in family medicine. And their whole clique has known each other since college. And so when uh, Dr. Noel is talking to Simone... And she says they've known each other for 20 years. Dr. Simone said, oh, me and my friend, my good girlfriend are like that. We've known each other 20 years. And the girl was like, oh, since college. And Simone said, that's sweet. But no, (laughs) we're a little older than that since private practice, which I thought was funny. But I think it's great that their clique has been together since college. I think that's beautiful. I love to see friendships stand over time like that. That's just a wonderful thing to see. And now they're all successful. So... Kudos to y'all. I just love it. I think I'm going to really like the LA cast. 
Um, that was really all that happened in the episode. They do sit down, Simone, Heavenly, and Quad. And Quad says that she feels like the LA girls have a closer bond than the Atlanta girls. And they was just like, no, nah, we got a bond too. We there for each other. Quad was like, no, nah, y'all be cussing and fussing. But they do agree that when it comes down to it, they can get over stuff and they can be there for each other. And I do believe they can. But, you know, it's probably the weather that be having y'all like, you know, be hot. Y'all got on them weaves and be sweating and the humidity. And then I'm all of, you know, y'all think got crevices so it's probably just the heat that be having y'all argumentative like that you know la is a breeze going they by the ocean they they just got a general disposition that might be a little bit better <laughs> but that's it you guys like comment and subscribe let me know what you think about married to medicine la are you going to be enjoying the show do you think you're gonna love it more than atlanta i don't think i will but let me know what you guys think i can't wait to see the ladies can't wait to see more of the episodes and if i review it it will be here. Thanks for joining me. Freestyle Friday on March Madness. Bye.